Hey guys, this is Adam and welcome to the second um, part of our CSV uh, upload tutorial. Um, thanks to the library by made by Josh Klaus, uh, which I provided the link underneath the video. Uh, you can pretty much on this website, you can find more documentation, you can find more about the CSV helper library itself. Um, but in this tutorial I will focus on um, on the model, so um, model is a, is a class. In our case, is an object that will be defined underneath the models uh, folder, and we have to um, make sure that the model, uh, the properties of the model, represents the um, the first columns. So we will have a property called name, surname, date of birth, sex and so on. Um, let me just call it date of birth, DOB simply. Um, so to add the new model, just right click on models, click add and click class. Um, and let's call it um, clients. And we have a class. Um, Name clients. So, uh, what we have to do now? We have to, uh, as I said before, create exactly the same uh, fields as uh, we have in our Excel file. So, name, surname, date of birth. So, to do it, um, just public string um, name and our getter and setters. Um, we will. Well, at this at this point, I can have. I will just to, just to be uh, safe. I will call uh, the type of every um, property will be a string, and then we can simply parse to a different uh, different type of object. Uh, so we have public uh, string surname, public uh, string date of birth. And I think we had um, sex and phone. Okay, so public string sex get set and public string phone get set. Okay, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, however, uh, there might be a situation where uh, you will receive a. a we will receive a CSV file from the client uh, that will have a strange um, a field, a column name. So let's say it won't be DOB. It will be, for example, uh, D space um, space um, D space O space B. Um, and because CSV CSV uh, will not work because you defined um, as a DOB. Uh, instead of D space uh, O space O B, which is a huge difference, and of course in C sharp we can't have something like public string uh, D space uh, B because something like that doesn't simply exist. So we have to um, we have to do something like uh, we have to add a new attribute CSV field. Um, which you don't have here because we have to um, add a new add some namespace. Uh, so just right click on the CSV field, resolve, and as you can see, we will add our library. Um, so it will understand where it's uh, pointing. Actually, I actually haven't shown you before where the library fall, uh, file itself will be stored, and it's actually inside the references. So if you Open references. You will have a CSV helper. Uh, so that's your library. So CSV field uh, bracket uh, name uh, equals and simply type D space um, B, and that's all you have to do. Um, for in our case, we will use a simple DOB without any spaces. So we can get rid of that. Um, and that's it for the tutorial. 
Thanks for watching, and in the next tutorial, we will uh, create a view.